Hello everybody. Um, made a little bit of progress on the bus. Um, I built the shelf in here, see? And I built the face frame. I know it's a little dark in here, but it's getting toward the evening and all I have is this one light in here. And I got the 16 gallon wastewater tank for the sink. This will be just before gray water. You can see the uh, the upper attachments where the sink's going to go in and the lower attachment there is where it's going to go out to an outside connector where I can hook a hose to it and drain it out. That is going to be the drain valve for it. That'll be uh, hooked down to the floor right, at, right by the bottom of the tank. And I'm cutting the countertop today. I'm going to show that to you a little later. And I'm putting the sink and the stove into it. Here's the back wall where I took the two windows out. Did that in quarter ply in, in birch. That came out pretty good. This should have a lot of nice storage in it when I get done. Okay, I'm going to head on back up to the, uh, to the workroom and finish up my countertop. Well, here's the countertop. I've got it cut, and this is going to be the stove side. I have it marked on the, uh, getting ready to cut it out. And this will be, naturally it will be sitting this way. I'm just using it for a pattern. But I've got the uh, outside marked. I mark it in, half inch inside because this is the mounting hardware right here, the mounting channels. So I had to mark this half inch inside for the cut. The nice thing about this is I'm going to end up with some uh, really nice little cutting boards when I get finished. Well, I don't want to cut it on camera, so um, I want to really pay attention. It might take me a few minutes. I don't want to run it out too long. Um, I'll show it to you right after I'm finished. Hello again. Here's the sink. There's the cutout I made on it. The reason I didn't want to show you uh, me doing the cutout is generally what I do is I'll drill a uh, half inch hole on each corner here and I'll take the jigsaw and I'll just cut it out. And uh, I wanted to keep this piece of wood here as intact as I possibly could. So what I did is a plunge cut and it's uh, <laughs> not a good idea for a beginner with a skill saw. You could, you know, kick back and hurt yourself real bad. Um, I've done this a lot. I've used a saw all my life, so I felt pretty comfortable doing it. But I just didn't want to show you guys how to have somebody hurt themselves doing it. And I hope you understand. Um, but uh, anyway, getting past that, the sink fits nice and snug down there <clears throat> this has a set of clamps that goes in from the underside and hooks to these little rails here these little channels and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this sink in um, with the countertop off of the cabinet then I'm going to go in and install the countertop itself but I'll have the faucets the plumbing all ready to hook up when I do that and it'll make it a lot easier. It's a lot more accessible that way. And as far as this thing goes, it's a little too big for what I wanted. But see this little edge right here? Well, I can't go back here because there's a faucet. But this edge right here, I'm going to cut it to match that to where it'll fit down with little round corners right into that edge. And then I'll have me a cutting board that can, uh, um, you know, ride there, not slide off. And... Um, Good spot to chop up vegetables and things like that and my pest is back as you can see okay so next I'm going to go ahead and cut out for the uh, flame king stove and I'm basically going to be doing the same uh, plunge cut so um, I'm just going to go ahead and turn off the camera and I'll show it to you when I'm finished okay so I've got that cut and the stove is set in there and this is basically what we're going to end up with right here. And I cut the little, whoops, I cut the little block that fits in there nice and tight. And um, 
I will go ahead and film putting the sink in so any of you that haven't done that before will see how the clips work and stuff. And um, this here sat right in there. This is the feed tube for the propane and it's an inch down from the top. Guess how thick this is? Yeah, I got a problem. I'm going to have to round off the inside of that with a router just so I can get a line on it. But this shouldn't be a problem. There's something else about this little stove that I like a lot. The, the burners don't come off. They're just stuck. But if you squeeze them right here, they pop right off. You have to squeeze them to put them back on. And once you do that, these won't fall off. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I like that. I hope this is a good stove. I've never dealt with this company before. And this does not have a piezo ignition. This is the type that you light with a match or a, a little uh, barbecue lighter or something like that. But I didn't care. I hope nobody else does either. Um, so that's what I've got for you today. I will film this when I'm putting it in, and I will film this when I'm putting it in. And um, we'll catch you on the next time.